Hey guys, it's Miss Kala here. So today we're going to talk about peace. Um, and we're going to learn through the King Solomon. You guys heard of King Solomon before? You have? No way. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Now, have you guys ever felt worried or afraid before? You have? I can get really scared sometimes. But you know what? Sometimes fear is good. You know, it's really important for us to be scared to touch the hot stove because it could hurt us really badly. But God doesn't want us to live in that fear. He wants us to have good, calming, this good, sweet, calming idea of peace. And we can have peace in knowing that God is in control even if we're worried and even if we're scared, God is still in control and we can have peace in that. So let's read 1 Kings 3, 5 through 14. That's going to be our Bible verse for today. So 1 Kings 3, 5 through, 5 through 14. I'll give you guys a second if you have your Bibles to find it. 1 Kings 3, 5 through 14. Let's get started. At Gideon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream that night. God asked, God said, ask, what should I give you? And Solomon replied, you have shown great and faithful love to your servant, my father David, because he walked before you, before you in faithfulness, righteousness, and integrity. You have continued this great and faithful love for him by giving him a son to sit on his throne, as it is today. Lord my God, if you have now made your servant king in my father David's place, yet I am just youth with no experience in leadership. Your servant is among your people, and you have, you have chosen a people too many to be numbered or counted. So give your servant an, a, a recipient heart to judge your people, and to discern between good and evil, for who is able to judge this great people of yours? Now it pleased the Lord that Solomon had requested this. So God said to him, Because you have requested this and did not ask for a long life or for riches for yourself or even for death of your enemies, but you have asked for discernment for yourself to administer justice, I will therefore do what you have asked. I will give you a wise and understanding heart so that there has never been anyone like you before and never will be again. In addition, I will give you what you did not ask for, both riches and honor, so that no king will be equal, to, equal during your entire life. For if you walk in my ways and keep your status and command, just as your father David did, I will give you a long life. So let's talk about that story a little bit. King Solomon had so much to worry about. He was in charge of a whole nation, but he trusted God to give him that wisdom. God's people had so much peace after this conversation in um, Solomon's dream. He prayed every day and obeyed God's, God's laws. He wanted his friends in the kingdoms all around him to also obey God's laws. So I have a question. What would you ask for? If your parent is around, tell them what you would ask for. Would it be new toys? A big fancy pool in your backyard? Three wishes and a magic genie? What would you ask for? Solomon did not ask for anything. He thanked God for so many things that he already had. And then he asked for a good and wise heart. He wanted to be a good king. God was very happy with Solomon because of what he asked for. He gave Solomon the gift of wisdom, but he also made him very rich and very powerful. Now, while Solomon was king, God's people had everything that they needed. Everything that they needed. Because Solomon had so much peace in knowing that he trusted God. There was plenty of food to eat, 
They were safe from their enemies. And they knew that God was taking care of them because they had a strong leader like Solomon. So, I have two questions. First, what was Solomon's kingdom like when he was in charge? Tell your parents or your friend or your um, sibling sitting next to you. Tell them what you think. Why was Solomon's kingdom... Or what was Solomon's kingdom like when he was in charge? Do you know the answer? Would you like me to tell you? We're talking about peace, right? And Solomon's kingdom was so peaceful while he was in charge. Next question. Are you ready? What did Solomon ask for when God said that he could have anything that he wanted? We just talked about it. What did Solomon ask for when he could have anything that he wanted? Did he ask for a new toy? Did he ask for that big fancy pool? Did he ask for three extra wishes? What did Solomon ask for? Once again, turn to whoever is next to you around. And if not, just think inside your head and try and see if you're correct. What did Solomon ask for? He asked for a good and wise heart. Isn't that so amazing? Solomon took himself out of a selfish position and put himself in a peaceful, trusting position to ask God for a wise and good heart. That's all he asked for. And God granted that and also gave him riches that he never asked for, that he was not expecting, just so that he could have his kingdom in a peaceful manner. Isn't that so exciting? When we trust in God wholeheartedly, Solomon didn't expect it to be that easy. He didn't expect everything to go that the way it went. And I'm sure Solomon had trials. And I'm sure that he had things that he wished would have been easier. And he wasn't always comfortable. But Solomon had a good and wise heart because he trusted God. And because of that, his nations were greatly blessed with peace. So today, and every day, I hope that you remember this conversation, or this lesson, shall I say, of how we talked about peace. And how when we trust God, we are given peace even if it's not in the ways that we expected. So, thank you for joining me today, and I hope that you guys come back next time. I'll be here, and I hope to see you here as well. So, have a good day.